this is Miss Andrea with Not Another Homeschool Vlog. And today we're going to explore Think Well Math Curriculum. So let's get to it. So this is Think Well Math Curriculum. Um, it comes in many grades. Right now we are in grade eight math. Basically, um, you purchase whatever specific math program you need and um, whether it be pre-algebra, algebra, geometry, etc. and so forth and you um, sign up for it and you can take pretty much as long as you need to um, work through it. Let me see if I can get you the full. Let me see if I can find it without me signed in so you can see. So here's the courses here. So they have summer courses. If you know, you're just kind of behind right now and you need to catch up 30 days to algebra readiness, sixth grade um, math online, seventh, eighth, which is pre-algebra. Um, algebra one, algebra two, geometry. Does it stop at geometry? It looks like it does. Um, but that's pretty much all you need to get ready for the SAT because you have algebra two. Um, they have calculus. It's 189. Um, so it's a little bit more than the other classes. Same professor, and by the way, he's kind of good. Um, calculus is advanced math for high school students, but it's a starting point for math in most selective colleges and universities. Thinkwell's Calculus Online covers both Calculus 1 and 2, each of, with, each of which is a one semester course in college. If you plan to take the AP Calculus, AB or AP Calculus BC exam, you should consider our calculus compatible with AP courses, which have assessments target to the AP program. So the, um, there's all your options. Um, let's look at another course, sixth grade math. Um, it's 159. These are not bad prices. If you notice, you can break it down to four payments of less than $40. Um, and you also have a free trial. Um, Ah, 14 days. So um, you can give it a try for 14 days. And if you like it, you keep it. If you don't, it was free. Um, summer courses are only 99. Middle and high school courses can be completed in the summer. So that's a really cool. I need to actually, I have a student who I'm mentoring public school student, even though I work with homeschool students and for some reason they're not giving her credit for the algebra that she earned in middle school, although they have her in the next course up and this would be a good way for her to go ahead and make up that credit. So, yes. So let's get back to exploring the site, shall we? So of course home, this is just pre-algebra because this is um, the subscription that I have right now. Each chapter has a couple of videos and then some um, quizzes, you know, to let you practice what you've learned. Let's go ahead and do introduction to exponents. Let's watch a little bit of that. You know, when we have really large numbers in our lives, sometimes a convenient way to express those numbers is as a power. Now, when you think about a power, a power has two fundamental pieces. There's the base, and then there's the exponent. So in this example here, we see that the base is 3, and the exponent's 5. What does that mean? It means that we're going to 
have a number that's going to have a factor of 3 five different times. So this is the same thing as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. That's a really big number, and it turns out we can express it really compactly as a power. Let's take a look at some examples together. And you can see various powers in action. So, so here's the first one. 6 to the second power, or sometimes we read this as 6 squared. 6 squared. And what does that mean? Well, it actually means that we have 6 multiplied by 6 twice. We have two copies of 6, two factors of 6. And so this 6 squared represents 36. Neat. How about 3 to the fourth power? Here the base is 3 and the exponent is 4. Well, what does this mean? Well, it means that this is going to be a number that's going to have a lot of factors of 3. In fact, exactly 4 of them. You see? 1, 2, 3, 4. That corresponds to this exponent. And so you have to multiply 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Well, 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 3 is 9. So this is really just 9 times 9, which is 81. 81. So this is a pretty big number, 81, and I'm writing it just as 3 to the 4th. They're the same. OK, how about 5 to the 1? This is a little bit weird. Because 5 to the 1, it means that this is a number that just has one factor of 5. That means we just write 5 once, and so we just see 5. And so here, we see this is equals 5. So 5 to the first power is just the same thing as 5. Neat. So he just kind of explains everything that crisply and cleanly. I like his um, overhead illustrations and then I like that they also side by side with that um, kind of typed it out there for you to see everything um, and then here it is again in notes that you can put in a notebook or you can teach from I'm actually tutoring someone right now through this um, student needs extra help and to just turn them loose on this program um, they would flounder a little bit, so I'm walking through the whole thing. And so um, having these worksheets to go ahead and help teach them the program is super helpful. Um, and then here's the exercise. You see the student and I did it three times today. Um, the first time she was getting everything right and then my piece of paper hit the keyboard and skipped one question. So um, that's why it was one skipped and 78. Um, I guess one skipped and one wrong. Um, the second time she was rushing through because she thought she knew the answers and got a 56. And the third time I made her slow down and she got a 100. Um, So let's go ahead and let's do it. Let's do the exercise. ThinkWell Homeschool creates dynamic video-based learning materials for homeschool students. They believe that learning challenging subjects doesn't have to be hard. It just takes the right teacher. Award-winning professors lead the learning journey and the courses allow for real-time feedback for effective learning and retention. ThinkWell self-paced courses feature best-in-class videos created to meet your students' learning preferences. There are dynamic, comprehensive video lessons, automatically graded exercises with feedback, chapter and practice tests, full-color course study notes, grade reports, and certificates of completion. You will find grade 6 through 12 math, honors courses, Advanced Placement and CLEP, as well as College Math. Personally, I don't only recommend these courses for homeschoolers. I work with many public school students as well, and they could always use the extra help to have some self-tutoring or at-home tutoring through these courses. It's much cheaper than many of the tutoring programs that you'll find. There you go. That's how um, the quizzes work after you watch usually two videos. We watch two videos um, before we got to the quiz, but I'm not going to take you through a whole lesson. You need to, you need to, 
at least do the free trial and check it out for yourself, okay? Here's a list of the videos. We've seen these two to today and did the quiz. Um, so there's several videos per chapter, but it's like two videos and then a quiz. So you don't, you're not like loading all that in and then trying to go back, remember everything for the quiz. This is, oh, cool. Oh, okay. So these are resources to outside deals. Um, this is the whole lesson plan for homeschoolers. This is amazing because this is what you would put in the portfolio and then you print this off and you put it in their homeschool portfolio um, along with their quizzes and tests. Actually, you can write their test scores here. Um, I love it. I love it. If you need the standards and objectives. That's all here. Good stuff. And here's the answer key to some worksheets, which I haven't opened yet. Here's some interactive stuff. So this is all part of ThinkWell. I thought some of it was going to take me off of ThinkWell. This does take you off of ThinkWell. Wolfram.com. And it, look at this. It's showing you exactly what we worked on today. So that's really cool. You change the base, you change the exponents. I'm gonna let you see how that works. That's kind of neat. Um, so all that's interactivities. What is this? What is this one? I know about mathworld.com. No, I don't know about this mathworld.com. Okay, so kind of like a glossary, a math glossary. Um, and all of these are interactivities also. Oh, here we are at a glossary. So if you just want to know what something means, you can type it in there. If you don't know where your student belongs, you can go ahead and take the placement test. You can also connect to an advisor to help you figure out you know, what this placement test means because it's not unusual for a child to do really well in some areas and just have like these disconnects in other areas. So they can probably look at the test with you and tell you what units a child might need to do in this course um, to prepare them for the next course instead of them doing the whole course. So I'm glad that there's placement tests what do I think of it? Um, it reminds me of Khan Academy a lot where there are videos um, in which case with Khan Academy you see the blackboard and you hear Simon Khan or another instructor's voice you know as they draw the math problems here you actually see a teacher and it feels like a little bit more of an interaction it's a little less sleepy sounding, um, but Khan Academy's free, you know? Um, but like I said earlier, um, where it trumps Khan Academy is that you can take the same test five times and not repeat the questions because I've had a lot of students game Khan Academy to get the best grade possible. Just And you can see it. They go in, they stop and start and stop and start because... They get one question wrong and they do it over. And so kids are going to be less likely to try and game that system because ThinkWell makes it hard to game the system. Um, and so I like it. It's crisp. It's clean. Um, you have support. Um, and that also makes it worth it. And um, the prices are... Oh, the prices are not bad. So, yeah, it's, 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 um, I'm going to go ahead and compare it to a Khan Academy, except with feedback and, um, harder to, for a student to game 
and that kind of makes it worth the money to me. I will be sharing some links and I will be sharing some codes and, you know, take the free trial. Test your child. See how it goes. Till next time.